Welcome, guys, to another episode of TJ's Chainsaw Restoration. Well, the 775 Direct Home Light Chainsaw just arrived today, and I am super excited. Um, unfortunately, guys, I didn't do an unboxing. That was my original plan, but I'm sorry about that. I just came home from work and was stoked to see this at my front door two days early and just had to open it. So it's here now. This is a complete saw. That's the only unfortunate thing. It's a going to be a part saw to fund a piston and, well, maybe a piston and a cylinder uh, for my 770 gear drive stick shift build. Uh, that is the saw I'm really wanting to get running as of now. Um, so I'm hoping to use this one. I'm hoping to use mainly just the cylinder. Um, if I can't find a piston, I'll use it and then I'll just try and get a set of rings. Um, but I'm going to get new seals and a head gasket. We'll reseal the 770 and then we'll, you know, sand or soda blast it. I may have to sand blast, sand blast some parts, but we'll soda blast all the parts and we'll repaint and do a good resto on it. This saw here is complete. Um, I bought it off of eBay from an awesome seller. It was a really nice gentleman who sent me every picture I needed. He was very thorough in his communication. And I always want to give a double thumbs up to sellers like that because they really care about what they're selling. The guy knew it was going to be expensive to get the saw to me. And he wanted to make sure that it was going to be worth my time and effort. And I really want to thank him for that if he ever does see this video. I think his name was Michael Dash. 999 on eBay. Um, I'll post a link in the description to that seller's eBay account because what I would like to do in return is recommend him to as many people as possible because he just did a phenomenal job in communication. He was extremely quick in getting it here and he was very descriptive in his um, his uh, selling uh, list. So this here is a 775 Direct. Um, the saw is just in amazing shape. The starter was sticking, so I lubricated it up, and it works really well now. Um, had to rewind the spring on it because it was sprung. The carburetor, the fuel line on it, which I don't know, you guys can't really see too well. But I did a temporary fuel line. As you can see, it's a little bit long, but this is just temporary. And the clutch drum... Um, the shoes, for whatever reason, had... They've got the two springs in there. There's a, It's kind of like the Husqvarna style. Um, you got a spring on the outside and there's a spring on the inside. I believe the Husqvarna's just have one spring on the outside, but the old home lights would have two springs. And they would sit on a sprocket and then you have a spring on the inside and a spring on the outside. Well, for some reason, it, all the shoes had popped out from the spring on the inside and I think it was just the amount of sawdust built up had caused the shoes to pop out. Cleaned it out real quick. Got the clutch popped back in there. And now she spins freely. Um, and one thing that's just amazing, guys, look at the size of this rim sprocket. I mean, I don't know, you guys can't really see too well, but look at the size of that. That's got to be one of the biggest rim sprockets I've ever seen. And I've only seen one more of those, and my boss has one. Um, they're really rare. The cool thing about this saw, it was sold to me as a part saw, but it fired right up. I couldn't believe it. I poured some VP 50 to 1 mix in there. And three pulls later, the dang thing fired right up. I couldn't believe it. And it runs like a top. I haven't actually full throttled it, but it fired up and it idled. It, it was just, <laughs> I'm still stoked. So we're going to fire this thing up for you guys. And um, hopefully it'll still run okay. Um, what I had to do with the spark plug, the boot, the end of the wire is all chewed up. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that. I might see if I can like make an extension for it. Um, somehow maybe cut it, splice it, and extend it in some way. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it uh, because I do not have another coil. And that's that's the one problem with this. I don't think these have a removable spark plug wire. So I'll see if I can pop the flywheel off tomorrow and um, we'll see what we can do. But we're going to fire this up for you guys and we'll see what you think. So give me one second here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and turn you guys around. And we will bring you right back. Okay, take two. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I had to take the cover off because with my little hack job I did, the uh, wire was touching against the side. So this is going to have to do. 
All right, so switch is on. She should fire right up. All right. That's just awesome. And boy, are they loud. Woo! Ah, oh, I love the smell of two stroke. Especially 50 to 1. Well, excuse me, not 50 to 1. VP. 50 to 1 VP lets off a nice smell. It's probably not the best for me to be inhaling, though. <laughs> well, there you guys go. So that's the 775 part saw that runs like a top. Um, sorry about the shakiness of the camera kind of happens when you're trying to start a chainsaw single-handedly but oh man guys it's almost it's really almost hard to take this thing apart I mean it's just an it's an awesome shape so I may try and uh, look out for uh, another piston and cylinder for this thing but I really want to get that stick shift going um, and I really want to put a 42 inch bar on it with a 404 pitch chain because this thing would be really fun to take to some get-togethers and just have a lot of fun with. So, we'll see. Um, worst case scenario, I'll just find a piston and cylinder for this one and get it going again. And maybe uh, try and break that roller nose bar free. And we'll put the roller nose on this one. So, and then we'll have three old home lights. Uh, the Zip Saw, a 775 Direct, and a 770 gear drive stick shift so I think that'd be pretty awesome but anyway well that's it for today's adventure I can turn you guys around real quick once more well that's it for today's adventure guys um, just picked this one up like I said off of eBay it took about four days to get here again thanks to the eBay seller um, I believe it was Michael dash triple nine um, again I'll post a link to his um, page on eBay in the description for you guys because I would highly recommend him. He's very friendly and he sent me pictures right away. I asked him, I said, I'd, would you mind giving me some pictures of the piston cylinder? And he was, no problem. A um, few guys I've had on there were really grumpy and stupid about sending me pictures, so I just really wanted to give this guy a double thumbs up. He really does care about his products. Um, Anyway, so the parts saw runs better than the saw that <laughs> I took apart. The saw that I took apart was C-Solid. Um, so, it's kind of hard. I'm already starting to fall in love with this saw, but I'm going to do some parts hunting tonight, and if I can't come up with a piston cylinder, I'm going to rob the cylinder off of this one. We're going to get some parts coming for that 770 gear drive stick shift, and we're going to get that one going. So, stay tuned, guys, for the restoration of the... Home Light 770 Gear Drive Stick Shift. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and please share my videos. Like I said, I'd love to keep this channel growing. And to the subscribers that have already subscribed, I believe I'm at 9 already. That's the second day. Just want to say thank you guys. Um, really do appreciate you. So, y'all have a good one. See you.